Well, Monday is Columbus Day, and for the last few years, it's been a day that has been met with some serious resistance on whether it should be celebrated or not, sparking debates nationwide about the future of the federal holiday. Two on your size, Andy Payton has more on some changes we could expect to see in New York State. This should have been made 30 years ago. Monday, workers and students across western New York will pause and take a day off in honor of Columbus Day. But Carl Jamison of the Goyo Kono Nation doesn't understand what we're celebrating. If you're going to celebrate genocide, let's, let's, let's call it what it is, right? I, I don't celebrate genocide. It's not something I'm interested in. And because of Columbus's impact on the indigenous population, New York lawmakers are now questioning the same thing as a bill is currently in motion to remove Columbus Day from the state holiday calendar and replace it with Indigenous Peoples Day, an issue that's been top of mind for Western New Yorkers in the past few years. In 2020, vandalism and protesting caused city officials to remove the Columbus Park statue and change the name of the park formerly known as Columbus Park. Well, the society has a, a, a problem with hiding, hiding things away and not dealing with reality. And it's time to wake up and teach reality and stop teaching fiction. But not everyone is in agreement. We have certain individuals trying to apply today's standards, 2022, to the issues and the actions of over 530 years ago. Assemblyman Morinello believes Columbus Day represents a key moment in our country's history and in his Italian heritage and feels that to replace the holiday with Indigenous Peoples Day would be a disservice. I think it's unfair to the Indigenous people to try and substitute a holiday to put them in. We need to honor them on their own and not as a substitute. But to Jameson, it's not about a day. It's about his people finally getting the justice that he thinks they deserve. In Buffalo, I'm Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.